Hello YouTube, this is Sam from Tiger Schooling and uh, this is uh, the news section in which we are going to discuss about the basic terms and their definition of clinical anatomy. These would be really basic terms regarding anatomy. If you're new to anatomy, these terms would help you learn the anatomy in a proper and easy way. So we will start with the word itis. So this word itis is used as a suffix. So I'd mention as a suffix, I change the pain. It's out of service. So we use this itis as a suffix which means inflammation. Inflammation. And for example, for that we have an example that's it uh, appendicitis. Appendicitis, which means this inflammation of the uh, appendix. So itis is actually telling us that it's an inflammation right so it's used as a suffix so another uh, another suffix we have got this is also suffix so i would write s to nearby it uh, i have already um, drawn a line behind it it means removal from the body removal from body for that we have got example in this case uh, we have uh, for example you could have appendectomy you could have tonsillectomy you could have gastric tommy you must have heard of gastric gastric tommy which means uh, the removal of the gastric or the stomach uh, from your uh, body again we another suffix we have got o tommy which means open and then close a hollow organ so this is again a suffix which means open and close a hollow organ again we have got an example for this one the otomy we have got the liprotomy lithotomy and other cyst uh, cystotomy so i will i would rather write over here the regarding the lithotomy so this is an example lithotomy another another suffix over here we got as i'm mentioning it uh, which is otomy all right, it's ostomy, I'm sorry. It is ostomy, which means open hollow organ and leave it open. So you're open a hollow organ and leave it open. It, it should be a hollow organ. So again, for that, we have got, in case of ostomy, we have got uh, the, uh, the co uh, colostomy. Colostomy. It's an example of, it. again, another, uh, another word which is also used as a suffix, which is oma, which means a tumor. For example, for that, we have an example. Uh, for example, you're using the word carcinoma. Carcinoma. That's an example. You can also add a few other examples into this one uh, as the... A uh, hemonigoma and neurofibronoma, lipoma, osteoma, uh, osteoma, anything could be added to. And this example again, I can add up the lipo, lipoma. Another one for uh, what is another definition, uh, basic definition regarding puberty. So puberty is actually the age at which the secondary sexual characters develop. So being it, it, it is actually between the 12 to 15 years old between the 12 and 15 year old and the for girls and uh, 13 to 16 for boys so this is for boys this is for girls and another definition we have got regarding the symptoms so symptoms are actually subjective complaints of patient about his disease so this is complaint of patient like what patient tells you like some patient tells you uh, his symptoms like he's coming to and he's saying I'm feeling I have a headache I feel nausea I have this thing I have this thing so these all are things that patient tell you are symptoms but any sign anything that doctor notices is actually a sign so it's a physical sign you know, are actually the objectives of the doctor on the patient so you can say you can also say findings of doctor 
on patient, right? So symptom, what a patient tells you, signs, what a doctor observes. So again, other definition, we have got the diagnosis. So diagnosis is a simple word which is commonly actually used, uh, which means the identification of a disease or determination of the nature of a disease, or I would rather say the identification of a disease. This is really a common word that many of the students know. And again, in the other word, we have got the pro, um, progenosis, which means forecasting the probable course and ultimate outcome of a disease. Like you, you just tell uh, tell a patient that if you if you take this drug and your progenesis is, is this one. I mean, uh, like uh, telling the future is kind of, kind of telling the future. So it's forecasting. It's forecasting the probable course of. Uh, the ultimate outcome of a disease forecasting the ultimate cause of disease so these are the basic anatomy for a number uh, for these tens